to dream the impossible dream. Everyone just had the belief and passion that we we're going to do it, and I think that's what kept us going, really. We didn't think we had a chance at all. We just thought we'd just put in a good performance and do the best we could, really, innit? This is right. He's gone for goal and scored! Oh, would you believe it? We were expecting a cross, and Robbie Blake thought different, and Burnley have won. Just a little loop from Robbie Blake when he just looked up, had a little glance, saw the keeper off his line, and that's Robbie Blake for you. Quality. When they got the first goal, that was it. Oh, we're on, a, on our way. And then the second, superb. Controls, edge of the 18 yard box, turns, twists, has it still. Blake for Burnley, crosses. Yes! We have it! It's Chris McCann! Oh, now we have a cup tied up! As soon as that second goal went in, you, it was just, we knew it was going to happen. It, we were all over. You could, you could just see. And Blake and Rodriguez. All inside the 18 yard box, it's curled in towards the box, the keeper comes, it's dropped, and it's yeah! And Burnley have one, and they pulled it level! They had to score three times! Oh, and they've gone and done it! Then I think everybody really began to believe that we might be going to Wembley. And the tension was just unbelievable, just thought we'd done it, just thought we'd done enough. Just keep the ball, just put it out to touch, put it anywhere. Just, just go and do the business, lads. We're on our way to Wembley. Two minutes from time and, and, and you think this is it, you know, we, we've done it, you know, three goals down from the impossible to the possible. For quite some time we thought we're going, we're going, but not to be. Yes.